Uh, he tastes a lot of his food as he's making it. The running joke is, you know, do you want a side of saliva with that? I don't like sticking my fingers in food. I'll give you a whole hug. I think that Cafe 36 would be a better restaurant without Pinto. Well, nobody's calling out tickets, so I don't know, you know? I mean, it's just somebody's got to be in charge. This is the problem. Terry and Carol keep talking about how Pinto is so awesome. And everybody else knows Pinto really can't run a kitchen. Table 13 waited 25 minutes for a house salad and a soup. The customer's reaction in the restaurant is very positive. Mine is not cooked. They were raw. I mean, I send mine back. Always makes me feel nervous when I sit next to plastic grapes caked in dust. And the plates look like they've been picked up at the local flea market or the dollar shop. Is this the normal um, quite so lunch? Is normally this? Lunches, we average three or four people. Three or four? Yeah. Unfortunately, one of the problems is we don't get the food out in time for it to do a business lunch. When you see a chef putting those ingredients together, it's, it's rather sad, really. Clearly, no one's controlling him, and he hasn't got a fucking clue. OK, mm. chef, the next course, your salmon crepe. They come out like that normally? All the time. What have they done? Chop them up? Um, no, that's how he makes them all the time. He just puts extra on top, I believe. Who makes the crepes? Um, I believe the crepes are store-bought. No. Yeah. Damn, look at that. And this is the speciality. I'm fed up with eating crap of the day. When you think of a crepe, you think of something nice, light, crispy, tasty, not something mushy and hideous. That is shocking. I thought you were looking out for me. Are you taking me. this away? Oh, yes, please. That's yeah. looking out for you. Just even going to bypass the pigs. You don't like it? None of them? And where did you train from? I trained uh, in Italy. And working in an Italian restaurant? Correct. I thought the risotto was an insult. It was mush. OK. Where is the risotto rice? It's in the cooler. Can you get it to me? Yes. I'm just amazed that you lived in Italy that length of time. You studied there, you worked there, and they didn't even teach you how to make risotto. What's that date? 2.20. What's the date today? 28. You've got the balls to walk in here on a Thursday and serve that shit from a week ago. It's mush. There was no bad and uh, it's still good. It's nothing smelled bad. Why in your tiny mind do you think it's still fresh from last Saturday? It was in the uh, reaching cooler. A reaching cooler confirms in your mind that it's fresh. Well, I'm sorry, but I mean, you know, this is really weird for me. This has been going on for a while. Pinto tries to stretch the food as far as it can go, and sometimes too far. Bring me everything in that fridge as a week old. You call yourself the executive chef? You should be ashamed. You served me risotto from a week old. Oh, my god. All this is from last week. I was very shocked to find out uh, that we were not serving fresh products. It was such a horrible feeling. And then I was getting very angry and mad inside myself to say, how can my staff do this? Chopped clams. We're keeping clams from a week ago. We'll smell go. that. What does it smell of? That doesn't it smell good. Smell? Congratulations. You haven't managed to kill anybody off. What are you doing? You're not a real chef, are you? Yes, I am. What? Any chef that keeps hold of that crap in his fridge for a week, two weeks, in my mind, has given up. A lack of caring, a lack of responsibility, and more importantly, ignorance. Fuck me, what more can you say? <laughs> it's like a stir fry, mixed vegetable stir fry with, uh, with black bean sauce. It's a little bit spicy. Okay, and then I'll finish off with the blackened salmon. Thank you. Brilliant, all right, you get it. Wow. Mono tofu. Mono tofu. Orale, way! A grande order, man. Come on, hey. What's the your dog's name, please? Tubbs. Tubbs. Look at it. Turkey patty melts. Turkey patty melts. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. What is he eating right now that he's looking like he's picking through it like it's dog shit? Turkey melts. My God. If this restaurant prides itself on being healthy, that does not look healthy. That is dry, and they are disgusting. Come here. Look, smell, tubs. There you go. A <laughs> little bit more tubs. There you go, buddy. <laughs> he, he's feeding the turkey patty most of the dog, dude. I saw him feeding the burger to the dog. First of all, I'm so glad the dog ate it. <laughs> I was so glad, because I thought if the dog doesn't eat this burger, we're fucked. Uh, this here is a mobu dofu. <laughs> oh, come on. This is a joke. 
He doesn't like it. The no motor do for means shit in Chinese, that's for sure. <laughs> He's looking loud. He's ripping. He's ripping. He's ripping. Rice cooked to hell. And. I'm stuck here. I'm a center of La Brea. <laughs> Don't do food. <laughs> oh, come on. That is shocking. My God. That's what he was, that's what he was ripping apart. Oh, that's horrible, though. <laughs> Maybe he can get through to Dean about the food. You can smell it, you can taste it, you can talk. And this is the salmon here? Black and salmon. Black and salmon, absolutely. OK. Very black. and it tastes way too fishy for salmon. Like it's been in a refrigeration unit that's not even properly cool. Disgusting. God, the food is bad. How was it? Just in terms of the presentation, it looked like a dog's dinner. Mm. Then you get to taste it, mm -hmm. it's hideous. Healthy food yeah. does not have to look like shit and taste crap. No, really sorry. I agree with you. So, oh, God. Oh, Jesus. Oh. oh. Not that bad. Show me where the salmon is. It was smelling fishy. Unfucking believable. Fresh salmon. Oh, dear. That's wild salmon. When did it come in? Yesterday. Yesterday? My salmon was very fishy. You got all that in there yesterday? Yes. Yeah. So you got the salmon and the turkey in the same container melting. So the chicken comes in fresh? Yes, it does. Yeah. I guess this is extra, you know, whenever we have it. Why are you lying? No, I'm not lying to you. This is not exactly what I expected to find in a healthy restaurant. What else is in here? One of Chef Ramsay found all the stuff that's been there for a long time. It's rotten. It was very disturbing to me. Your food is about as healthy as these vegetables. I didn't realize that nobody looks in the refrigerator. Were you going to serve this tonight? No. All of a sudden, Dean, there's a lot of food in there that you're not serving. When I smell bullshit, hey, I go straight to the fucking juggler. This is your combination, OK? Lovely. Combination. It's very hot plate. Be careful. This is the burrito here. Yeah. It's hard to see that. It looks like someone's been sick on my plate. <laughs> Chicken's so dry. It tastes like it's been cooked weeks ago. The beef. Excuse me. It's impossible to swallow. I can see he didn't like it. Mm -hmm. Wow. How old is the rice? It looks like it's... Leftover from Christmas. They cooked this uh, yesterday. Yesterday? How do you know that? I check in the kitchen. Check again for me, would you please? Thank you. It looks older than fucking me. What does it taste? No, it doesn't. Why did they do It's dreadful. Absolutely fucking dreadful. How's it going? He hated the rice. Why? It's old. How old is it? They're disgusting. Yeah. Basically, they taste of shit. I always feel very embarrassed. First of all, there was the menu, and the more important thing, there was the food. That is gross. Oh, now it's my fault. No, no, I'm just now asking you. Oh, no. So you bought the glasses from Garibaldi as well. We Wait. invested a lot of money into this. We should have known this shit a year and a half ago. Yeah. Maybe that's the key when you're coming to Fiesta Sunrise. Stop off at the tequila bar, get drunk, and then enjoy the food. You know what? Listen to me. Hi, Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. How are you both? Good. I'm nice. Patty. And your husband and wife? I'm stepdaughter. Oh, okay. Sorry, I thought you said you were partners. Excuse me. We're, right. we're all partners. Okay. Nice to meet you. Likewise. And first name is? Yolanda. Yolanda. Right. I was the Fiji Colada. That was delicious. Sad that is the only thing that I enjoyed. Um, Let's go over to the bar and have a little right, chat, right, yes? Right, right. I'm hoping Chef Ramsay will convince Vic that change is good. You know, I think they're stuck in their ways. We should have stepped in a long time ago. Now it just seems like this is the end of our rope. Hopefully we can make some type of changes to save this business. All three of you pay yeah. for the business? No, these two. This two. <laughs>
You two pay for the business yes. and this man runs it. He ruins it. Ruins it, runs it, <laughs> runs it. Runs it or ruins it, yeah. So far it's fucking ruined, yeah? Did you have anything to do with the old business? I didn't. No. No. I did. You did. So that restaurant failed and then you came to run this one for your wife and your stepdaughter. Yeah. But before you left, you grabbed the chicken, the menus and the glasses. No, just the menu. Okay. I'm trying to get my head around this. If you all own it and he's running it, why aren't you involved? My opinion is I think he just wanted us to finance him a restaurant. I put a lot out here. I put my credits, my home. I borrowed money from my father-in-law. It's not important to him. It's not important to him to make things right with me. What does it take to break even? How much do we need to take a week to break even? 90,000. A month. A, a month, yeah. A month, so 22 grand a week. We do a third of that. So you're losing half a million dollars a year. What's the debt? About 850. 850,000. And you've only been open for 18 months. Right. What in the fuck have you been doing? No, I'm the big guy in here. Everything is going wrong. The beacon and me. Oh, I will see you later. Thank you, ladies. See you later, chef. Vic. That's embarrassing. Right now, they're all blaming each other, and it's bloody obvious that Vic has run the place into the ground, but how can the women complain about that if they haven't put the time and effort in this place? So, personally, they're all to fucking blame. Let's go through it together, shall we? Yeah? Soup was hideous. How old is that soup? The soup has been, like, uh, three days with me, yeah. Three days with yeah. you? Yeah, it tasted like it. It tasted disgusting. Bland, and everything was cooked to fuck. The lasagna, let's quickly go on to that. That was unique. Uniquely shit. That's homemade. Where is it? Tom, where lasagna is it? Lasagna is over there. Yeah. Can you get me a portion? Why was it dry in the middle? Was there it you sauce? Go. Sean, we proportion it, we cut them. That's it's frozen. He says, he says it's frozen. How old is that? That's the lasagna I make last week of priority. We make three trays of lasagna at a time, and then we proportion them, and then we freeze. We right. take some up as we need. OK, so it's not fresh. That's what I'm trying to say. But doesn't right. mean it's bad. So does it mean it's bad? I'm Italian, man. Here's a guy from Scotland. What the fuck's he know about lasagna? Does any chef throw food away if it's not bad? Answer that, Mr. Ramsey. Any chef? Yes. Yeah. Hello? You any gonna throw it away? Should I answer it, or are you gonna fucking... No, uh, fucking tell me. Go ahead, uh -huh. fucking tell me. Are you getting upset now? No, not at all. Yeah. Not at all. A little bit, maybe. Every not. fucking chef I know makes lasagna fresh every day. When Chef Ramsey started critiquing, telling me all these bad things about my food, I felt like, what is this guy out of his mind? Then the biggest disappointment was the steak. Who buys the steak? That's the toughest steak I've ever eaten. I dropped down on the steaks because my business has dropped. It was a choice steak. It's not my black Angus, you're right. I love the way I, you got excuses for everything. I couldn't do anything right. It was, it was amazing. It was very hard for me to swallow. I, cu I couldn't believe it. He said everything I did was wrong. You're very pumped up. I have you ever thought? Because I believe we have good stuff. Yeah. Are you asking me or telling me? I'm telling you, I think maybe you walk up uh, on the wrong side of the bed. I get out the same side of the bed every day. I know what the fuck I'm talking about, and that food was bland. I, I can't believe you're telling me my food sucks. I can't believe it. I, I, I honestly think you're out of your fucking mind. It ain't, it ain't, there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. There's nothing wrong. I think you're a little too critical, overcritical. The minute you get down off your high horse and start understanding what the fuck's wrong with this place, then we might have something compatible to work with. Are you finished? Are you done? Am I done? I can't believe it. I've just started. Unbelievable. <sighs> OK, I'm going to clear my head. I wanted some, uh, some fucking, I need some fresh air. Yeah, want me to show you where the door is? Oh, I'll go through that one there. Thanks. So it's fake crab meat mm -hmm. in a seafood restaurant on the water. Mm -hmm. Oh, fuck me. Holy crap. Rubber, tasteless. That's going straight to the trash. Okay. Oh, my God. What's I wrong? Know, he hated it. Why? The fake crab was the number one reason. The omelet didn't go over well. No. He doesn't like the crab in there. I, I've never, uh, that was already here. I didn't buy that stuff. I don't want to use frozen fish. It's not a product that I'm absolutely overly proud of. But at the same point, I'm held accountable for all the inventory that the owners have paid for. How's the food so far? Why are we serving fake crab in an omelet? I don't. He did that. You're the general manager. <laughs> Why do you... Why are you laughing? I give the choice. Have you been drinking? No. The crab was shocking, embarrassing and fake. It tastes disgusting. Have you tasted that crab? No, I'm extremely allergic to crab and shrimp, so no, I can't even... 
There's no it. crab in there. I understand. It's monkfish. Oh, my God. I'll let you finish your meal. General manager, my ass. I'm being blamed. He thinks that I should allow him to do that. Or letting him letting serve him. those types of Correct. dishes? Because it's fake crab. AJ is the general manager. He's supposed to oversee the food. And now I'm hoping and praying that Gordon says AJ is the one that's pleading his business. OK, fish and chips. Certainly the best looking thing I've seen. Is that really rubbery? Is it frozen, the fish? I believe it's frozen. It is frozen. When you take a bite of that cod, it's it's almost like you've got a breaded condom in your mouth. Oof. You said it was rubbery, uh, too greasy, and it just said it tasted like a frozen cod, and obviously he hit it right on the button, so. This is the same recipe that we've used here forever, so I am for change. I want the change. Good. Wow, this one is the salmon. salmon. Look at that. Thank you, sweet. just so sweet. The dressing is like honey, and so much of it, absolutely disgusting. Quite possibly one of the worst salmon dishes I've ever eaten. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. No. I didn't like anything. That's one man's opinion. It's a pretty successful opinion, though. <laughs> Fuck. Whoa. After one of the worst meals he's ever had. This is Chef Aaron. Aaron. Chef Ramsey, how are you doing? Gordon begins to explore how this perfectly situated seafood restaurant can serve such dreadful food. That was horrendous. Why are you serving fake crab meat? It's inventory that we have. Have you tasted that? It's plain. There's nothing to it. It's just disgusting plastic. It's exactly what it is. The salmon dish. That was shit at its best. Sweet on sweet on sweet on sweet. That's actually one of the top sellers. That's app. why the place has got such a shit reputation for crap food. It's still not clear who's in charge of the food. He's in charge of the food. It's not true. I have no control. I felt like I was being thrown under the bus because all the recipes and the things that he didn't enjoy are things that were set in place before I even got here. Who's controlling the fucking menu? The owners are. Scott, is that what you wanted here? Not at, not at all. I don't have nothing to do with food. What? Yes. AJ, I want answers. There are certain things that are not under my Sorry, control. You're the general manager. I tried not to have it go on, but I get overruled. AJ has many excuses and never wants to own up to his faults. <laughs> it's terrible. AJ, it's got to be your responsibility. No, no. 